From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a major evening tonight as Americans await Black Friday, but also awaiting Black Friday is the Black Friday stimulus checks. And tonight's recording, we go over one viewer's success story as he got more money in this last 24 hours as well. He had already got check A, massive amounts of money, up to $12,000. He had already got check C, that could be thousands of dollars. And what did he get? Another thousand dollars, another year of checks today. It's, his name is Spelly, and we'll go over his big success story. He comes on the heels of the wonderful success story yesterday from Kimberly Romano, who got a massive amount of money, $50,000 from this from this channel. Monthly stimulus checks, MSC she got. And I'm going to go over how you get them across the board in tonight's recording. But the other major breaking news we're looking at for Black Friday, of course, are those retail sales numbers. The retailers reported more corporate earnings today, including Black, including Best Buy, Zoom, Abercrombie and & Finch. And these are companies that have not had a particularly good year, with stocks down $440. Yeah, you heard me right. But they beat on their earnings numbers, with exception of Zoom today, and that was great news. So why did they beat, and is this upward guidance for the rest of this year or downward guidance are the latest details on those corporate earnings that came in today across the board. Plus, Loretta Mester, one of the most beloved of the Federal Reserve governors, the one out of Cleveland, gave us new guidance on what the Federal Reserve is going to do in the next few days for that December interest rate spike and what's happening thereafter. Plus, we'll be looking at the big breaking news of what Bob Iger did at Disney and why he did so quickly and why that's indicative of what he needs to do. Stimulus. So tonight's recording, we're going to go over $300,000 of checks that reviewers are walking away from, with, 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 that are from the federal government. Massive amounts of money that became law in the month of March, and I'm going to show you how to get them in tonight's recording. Plus, we'll be going over the ways of your benefits, and we'll be looking at what's happening tomorrow as we count down the days until you become my latest reporter. Yes, you'll be in the stores reporting what those holiday numbers look like and the holiday consumers' behaviors look like. Are people putting things on credit card? Are they showing up and spending? A lot of major countdowns heating up tonight's broadcast over for the big uh, Thanksgiving weekend. I'll have that and more as a big show starts right now on Evenings. Good evening, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful night. It is gorgeous here along the coast from Santa Monica, California. It's a big show tonight, and we're going to cover it all. We're going to go over your benefit raises, your housing market, your unemployment, and, of course, your four stimulus. The breaking news all starts right here, right now, on this night, shortly before Thanksgiving. How are you? Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Over this broadcast, massive amounts of money of stimulus are achieved by viewers, and I'll show you how to get it as well. This is stimulus that became law in the month of March. It's from the federal government, and because it's from the federal government, it is for you in every U.S. state. It has nothing to do with your state. The federal government sends it out. And tonight, in a brand new success story, his name is Spelling. You've heard him before on this channel, because he has gotten one, two, three, three other stimuluses from this channel before. Tonight, he got a fourth. That's how you do as part of the Purple Power. He had gotten check A. He had gotten check C. He had gotten check N. And tonight, he got more check C, another $1,000, and another year of more checks. Congratulations to Spelly. He comes on the heels of Jessica, of um, Kimberly Romano, who yesterday really lit up this channel and the broadcasting family of L8 because she did what two other viewers had done right before her, getting 18 months of monthly stimulus checks of massive amounts of money. And this is more than any congressman had ever promised you. When Congress was talking about MSC monthly stimulus checks or multiple stimulus checks in 2021, they were talking about six months. My viewers are now getting 18 months of stimulus checks. Do you want 18 months of stimulus checks? I'm going to show you how to get them in tonight's recording. That the time in 2021, they were talking about $1,000 a month for six months after the first month of 1200 My viewers aren't getting $1,000. They're getting thousands of dollars. 
And then finally, when they talked about six months of checks, they were talking about a total of $7,200. Well, Kimberly Romano is holding $50,000 tonight. Spelly has gotten a lot of money as well. And countless viewers of this channel are holding over $100,000 of stimulus from this federal government in the last few weeks. I'm going to show you how to get this big money over this one-hour broadcast. You're watching America's most watched show for financial news. For this subject matter, it's LA Light, and the breaking news starts right now. We had more corporate earnings coming in for third quarter from those retailers today, and yesterday on this show we asked whether they would beat top and bottom revenue net profit or whether they would miss, not come in as expected. And tonight we have the results, and let's see if you got it right or you got it wrong. The takeaway is that the vast majority of them beat. But before we go into the data, let me give you the background. Most of these companies are having very bad years. Their stocks are already down 30, 40, 70 percent. Number two, most of them had already downward guided, meaning they had said it's going to be a bad year. And then when they beat, it's not beating on their normal numbers, it's beating on lower numbers. And most of them say the holiday season is not going to be very good for them. So I want you not to think that this is all great news. Let's jump right into it right now. So Best Buy was up 7% in pre-market trading. In fact, it went up even more later in the day. What did it do? It beat top and bottom. The electronics retailer did better than the viewers of this channel thought, and certainly I thought. And beat on top and bottom brought the consumers in with discounts. More about Best Buy in a second. Dick Sporting Goods, which is more than just apparel, it's baseballs and bat, beat on top and bottom across the board. And then Dollar Tree fell 4.4% after it beat on top and bottom, beat just like Ross Department Store did days earlier. Abercrombie and Finch, sort of like a Gap, which also beat, sort of like a Macy's, which also beat this week. Abercrombie and Finch had a really, really wonderful day. Stock was up at 15% at some point. It was started the day at up 13% after a beat on top and bottom. Incredible. Congratulations to Abercrombie and Finch, which is sort of like the Macy's story earlier this week. Urban Outfitters, based upon that, do you think it beat? It's a clothing manufacturer, retailer. It did... Uh, it did beat general revenue numbers, but missed on some earnings number. The stock was still well, applauded for the news. It was up 2.2 in pre-market trading. And then when we look over to technology, not so good. Zoom used to be a $300 to $400 stock this year. It's now a $40 stock. It missed. The stock was down 10% in pre-market trading. And Dell missed. The computer com company fell 2% on the news. This is really why you have to get stimulus, because even when looking at this data, it looks confusing before we even get into the data in just a second. It's a confusing economy, and even the heads of the companies say it's confusing. The big stimulus on this channel tonight is over this one-hour broadcast, so stay at the very end. Three categories of checks. Let's look at those three categories starting right now. The first category is federal stimulus checks from the federal government, from Congress, from White House. They send it out, they administer it, their money has nothing to do with your states. So do not ask, is it in my state? It has nothing to do with your states. And do not say it's not in my state because it is in your state. It comes from the federal government. It doesn't come from your state. It comes from the federal government to wherever you live in the United States or U.S. territories. How many checks? Nearly 300 of those checks, $300,000. And I'm going to show you how to get those checks over this one-hour broadcast. Then we go to inflation relief stimulus checks from the states. It's like icing on the cake, and we'll go over those icing details in just a second. Then we go to lifetime stimulus, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. And tonight you see new details about that raise of that benefits across the board. The data so far looks like a lot of companies beating and everything is great news. No. So now let's go into the data behind the data. This is something you're not going to see really anywhere else except here on LA, America's number three most watched financial news channel overall. The data behind this data tonight is compelling. And we actually get it from the heads of the, of the retailers themselves. They say that the consumers spending money in their stores are doing it on credit card with debt and that they are using also up the, using up their existing savings account to buy the items remember the retailer doesn't care how you buy the tv otherwise you buy the tv and that's all their part of their concern across the board but my concern is how are they affording the tv because if they cannot afford the tv that means they're not going to buy another item come february Tonight, we know a little bit more about this. In the latest details from these retailers, we learn that these consumers 
that bought these numbers for massive beats on top and bottom for retailers today bought the items by dipping into their savings and by dipping into credit card debt. And that means several things. Number one, it first means that these retailers will not be, be delivering those type of earnings numbers again later this next year because someone does not have unlimited debt spending, obviously. So if a, a retailer brought the consumer in on debt spending now, they're not going to be able to bring them on debt spending indefinitely. The consumer will run out of credit card debt levels. Number two, it also means that eventually the consumer is going to just stop spending because the reality check will kick in. A new report that's released this week that says 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. And among them, they're not really budgeting their, their, their finances at all. And that's what we saw in the latest report from the CEOs. The analysts are also saying as well that do not celebrate these numbers when we know that these numbers are based upon credit card debt. Tonight, we know a little bit more about that credit card debt. It is the worst credit card levels of debt in this U.S. economy in 20 years. It is the lowest amount of personal savings in nearly 10 years. So that means that people have run up debt more than we've ever seen of a generation, and they have less money in the bank than we've seen in nearly a decade. When we look at the numbers that came in from Best Buy, CEO Corey Berry said that sales decline across several product categories, and they are up compared to 2019, but they're going to be down compared to the prior year. But across consumers, this is Barry speaking, we can see that savings are being drawn down and credit usage is going up. Not the first time we heard it, but first time we've seen it from a major retailer CEO in an investor call today. And value clearly matters to everyone. Best Buy is starting to say that it will be a very uncertain sales environment this holiday season. Inflation-prone uh, customers may not have unlimited credit card debt, and discretionary spending will fall apart when they really max out that credit card debt. So far, um, Best Buy has done really great across the board. But what's important to understand is that this is just a temporary uh, positive note. The temporary positive note runs out. Why? Because ultimately, you cannot celebrate something that's based upon a thing that's unsustainable, credit card debt. And so if the people do not have that credit card debt, uh, you know, through the roof, they don't have levels, uh, credit card limits of 100000 or $200,000 on their card. They have, you know, $10,000 credit card levels. They're not going to be back at that retailer come January. They're not going to be in that retailer you know, all throughout the month of December. They're going to max out that card, and that's going to be it. The we already know that they do not have unlimited savings. I disagree with Barry's comment that they're, they're, they're dipping the savings because 60% of Americans don't have savings. They're living paycheck to paycheck. So that means problems for these companies, problems for the consumer, and it also means you got to get all this incredible stimulus. Why? Because come January, Americans will have run out of credit card debt limits, limits, they won't be able to put anything else on credit card if they continue what they're doing right now. And number two, the businesses that they work for are not going to see sales. They're not going to see business because the credit card limits have been maxed out. And they'll look out in the store and there'll be no cons consumers there. And guess what happens? Layoffs. Layoffs and people lose their jobs. And then suddenly, whatever little paycheck you're living paycheck to paycheck on, it may be gone across the board. They'll be here. So ultimately, you don't wait for them. You don't wait for a stimulus stampede. You get the big stimulus tonight. And with that, let's go over those three categories of checks. The first one are, are FSC, Federal Stimulus Checks. Where do they come from? They came from Congress. They came from the President of the United States, passed in the month of March. They're huge. They are $300,000 of checks. And they are passed by federal law. So it means it has nothing to do with your states. It's in every U.S. state because it's from the federal law. All you have to be is a U.S. citizen or U.S. resident across the board and make $75,000 or less, single individual or married couple, $150,000 or less, and you can go get them. I'm going to show you how to get these incredible checks across the board. Then we go to inflation relief stimulus checks, icing on cake, and then lifetime stimulus checks also in tonight's recording. Loretta Mester 
is a fascinating part of the equation as she is the Fed governor out of Cleveland. And tonight she tells us a little bit more of what's going on. But I love her comments because she basically said what we wanted her to say, which is we have a lot of work to do at the Federal Reserve and that we're going to continue to raise rates until we reach that 2%. Loretta Mester, again, the Federal Reserve Governor from Cleveland, said the following. We're going to have to do a lot more work. We need to see inflation on a sustainable downward trend to 2%. That's what we've been learning to earn on this channel for a while. 2% inflation for several months until we stop. We're going to have to raise the funds, but we'll be in a deliberate monetary policy until that's done. The next Fed governors to be speaking are on Tuesday on this channel, Kansas City Federal President Esther George and St. Louis President James Bullard. Imagine, imagine, I just reported to you that they're going to be raising credit card, they're going to be raising interest rates in December and all next year. And I just told you the credit card levels are the worst of a generation. Imagine how an ingredient for implosion or explosion that's going to be, that people have the largest credit card level debts of nearly 20 years. And that credit card level debt, which of course is a variable interest rate, is suddenly going to be hideously more expensive than ever before, based upon what Fed Chairman Esther George, uh, Fed Chairman Lorena Mester said out of Cleveland today across the board. That's why I have to get these big stimulus, and let's jump into those right now. The first three categories, the first category of checks are federal stimulus checks, FSCs. They're from the federal government. They are absolutely incredible. But where do they come from and how do they work? What do we need to know and how? where are they? Everything about them, we're going to start with right now. These federal stimulus checks were passed in two rounds, first by the president and then by Congress starting in March. And viewers of this channel have got to them. Let's look at them right now. The first three checks were passed by Joe Biden in March by executive action, $100,000, and they are checks A, B, and C. Single individual, $75,000 less annual income, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less annual income, go get it. And I'm going to show you how to get it in this recording. You become a member, go right in this video, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. Join this channel, and I'm going to show you over this one video, one hour video, how is becoming a member of viewers of this channel are cleaning up with hundreds of thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars awaiting them across the board. Then came Congress that passed another bill that delivered more checks, hundreds of checks, bringing us to checks E through K. Incredible. Then I found you more checks, L and M, N and O, P and Q. They're all in the membership newsletter from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. All you do is join this channel, become a member, then get that newsletter, and you go right and apply. That's why the Purple Power family, this community, is cleaning up. It's that simple. And to make it even more simple, I'm going to go through all the checks that Purple Power are getting and how it works for you starting right now. The first check is Check A. It is a $6,500 to $12,000 federal stimulus check. And this is the check that Speller got and also... Um, Kimberly Romano. This incredible check A is just absolutely wonderful. How do you get check A? What's at issue? And what do you need to know? Step one, you go into this video, join the channel. Then in that membership newsletter, go down to check A. Click the link and go right in apply. I do all the work for you. I put it all together in a simple membership newsletter. You just click the link and go in and apply for $6,500 to $12,000. Again, this is a check that Spelly got. You just become a member and pounds. Next check. Check B, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. It's huge, and this is the check that Kimberly Romano got. Eighteen months of checks. Let's look at her success story for this check B. This is what Kimberly Romano wrote earlier this week. She writes, "I want Purple Hawks to know that I applied for check B, and I just got approved for eighteen months of HOA fees at three sixty, and eighteen months of utilities, and past property dues." Property taxes of $4,000. Plus, I got the Weatherizing Grant. I was so excited. Now, the Weatherizing Grant is check A. Let's look at her success story for just check B. So she got 18 months of checks. Sound familiar? It should. Same thing that happened with Frank Mancuso. Same thing that happened with that other Vieira, Florida. 18 months of checks is the usual success story on this channel for check B. And how many checks are viewers getting for check B per month? Five. 
They're getting all their utilities and their rent and their mortgage. Here's Frank Mancuso at five. Kimberly, about five. 18 times five, folks, that's a lot of checks. 18 times five checks a month, that is 80 plus checks approximately. How much money is that? Well, for Kimberly, it's her HOA fees and her utilities, which potentially could be about $2,300. let us just say it's $2,000. $2,000 times 30, 18 months, that's $36,000. Let's look at Frank Mancuso. Well, he has his mortgage and he has 18 months of utilities. He ain't any much different across the board. And then Kimberly also got $4,000 of past due property taxes. That brought, us, brought her to $40,000. She also got check A, which we just went over. That's $12,000. So here's Frank Mancuso, another viewer out of Florida, got 18 months of five checks a month, $100,000. Why would you not become a member? And remember, Frank Mancuso's story, success story came in his first month of becoming a member. Go right on this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Pearl Power Casino VIP, and get these incredible checks across the board. Now, we're not done with the first three checks because we haven't done check C. Let's look at check C. This is the checks that Spelly got before, and he tonight reports, brand new for you tonight on evenings, that he has gotten another year of check C, about $1,000. I love Spelly's story in so many regards because he had gotten check A, then check C, then check N, and he's gone back and getting more check C. That's how you rock and roll. What do you do? You become a member, and in the membership newsletter, I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it with 12 different places to reach out to. This is LA. This is the number one most watched financial news channel in America for the subject matter. What I do on this channel is I teach people where and how the money is and how to get it. This is not a me reading a script show. This is not me saying, oh, there it is, go figure it out. I actually teach people how to do this. I actually train people how to do this. I actually research hard to find very unreported stimulus items. I put them together, I organize them for you, and then I train them for you how to get them. You're not going to see this on local news. You're not going to see this on broadcast news. They don't do the research. They don't care to do the research, and they certainly don't train anyone. This is an educational, informational channel, and it's number one in the United States. It's number three now overall for all financial news, with three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. Long, short, taped, and, and, and live shows, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And with that, congratulations to nearly 100 brand new members that joined any one of these three channels in the last 48 hours. Go into this video, join the channel, become a member, and get ready to pounce for some check C's. Let's look at the success stories for check C's that the viewers have gotten in the $50 million they've gotten from this channel in the last two years. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Go get some check C's. Look at those success stories all the way up to Elizabeth. Then Nancy. Well, there you go. There's Mark. He went from $6,500 to uh, then helping his brother-in-law getting $15,000. Lynn Glenn in the live chat last night revealed she had gotten 14 months of utilities and five months of rent. Well, it continues thereafter because Mark's brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years for SNAP. Combinations of checks. Ready for big numbers? Here we go. Mark got $32,000 from this channel, but he pounced and got more. When I told him to do it, he went to $50,000. He pounced more, went to 100000 then got check B, 166000 You used to pay a few dollars to become a member, just less than a few dollars in your hand, and walk away with 166000 Where else do you see any type of return bang for your buck like anything this week across the land? Lorraine, same success story. 105 she went to 155 What do you do? You go into this video, subscribe, go into the, all three channels, of LA1, LA2, and LA3, make sure you hit the subscribe, hit that bell on all three channels to so make sure your notifications are set all to on, and then join the channel. Go right on the video and become a member, and you will be able to then pounce to get tens of thousands of dollars of stimulus. More monthly stimulus checks than Congress had ever promised, more money than we ever thought was possible. It's still paying out across the board. Don't wait to become a member because the money is available right now. We don't know how long it will be available, and it's all incredible great news. In the big second half, we're going to continue with these federal stimulus checks, but first let's jump back into the other breaking news developing tonight as well. The other breaking news we're developing tonight as well is really what's going to happen tomorrow and the day after this week. Black Friday sales are underway, and consumers will be in the stores. 
The question is whether they're going to be using cash or credit card. All indications it will be credit card. Number two, will there be a massive demand? We know there will be demands based upon what we see, but the retailers are worried about how strong the demands will be. They believe that these retail sales numbers will be down year to date compared to prior to the prior year. But <clears throat> they're inconsistent numbers coming from many, many retailers. We have high end, we have low end, we have dollar general, we have some of the dollar companies not doing well, and then we have a middle income uh, establishments like a Gap or Urban Outfitters doing quite well. Very, very confusing across the board. Housing is really falling apart, auto is falling apart, and retail could be the next industry to fall apart as well. The housing industry tonight is worse than it ever was. We've now 11 consecutive months of declining numbers. Existing home sales are down, new home starts are down, builder confidence is down in that housing market. Then when we jump over to the mortgage rates, those mortgage rates are deterring consumers from buying homes and also deterring sellers from actually selling the home. Why? Because you're not gonna sell a home if you can't afford a mortgage on a new home when your current mortgage is 3% and the next mortgage is 7%. Over in auto, the same problem that's hitting housing is hitting auto. Carvana reported this week that it had to lay off 10% of its workforce because less demands for used cars. Well, that caused Barclays to suggest that maybe the company could be running out of cash in less than a year. Not good, and that is the, the first indication that auto is really going to collapse slowly. And then retail. I want you to understand that we don't see warning signals of this yet, but it's likely that the retailers who do not deliver this holiday season and have not delivered throughout much of this year may have massive problems when they go to tabulate their earnings come January, February. And ultimately, if they miss, they're going to cut costs. Like Target said, they're cutting $3 billion over three years. Which costs will be cut? Could we see store closures? Could we see layoffs? This is the type of warning signal we're worried about for retail because we already see the warning signals for housing and also see the warning signals for auto. Could retail be next? Meantime, in the big second half, we'll go over the collapse and the destruction of cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is no longer likely to be what it once was ever again, potentially during this generation. I'll tell you why tonight. It's a totally new story on cryptocurrency, and you've never seen it before on tonight on Evening's L8, and it's very important, and it could drive the consumer confidence of so many different parts of this economy in a new direction we've never seen before. But in the big second half, we're going to continue with these federal stimulus checks, then over to inflation related stimulus checks, then lifetime stimulus checks, and then my commentary tonight. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's a big show, and Purple Hawks, are you pouncing? Have you become a Purple Hawk? Have you become a Purple Power? Go under this video, become a member, and I'll see you back in 60 seconds as the breaking news continues on evenings if you want money right now not five days from now and not five weeks from now then reach out to the community page the volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities that's at news.la.com forward slash community the community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you they can help you find rent utilities snap food benefits mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late.
And the excitement continues right now in a big second half from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Hope you're having a beautiful day. And I will be recording with you all weekend long. And yes, the newsletter will also be delivered to you all weekend long, despite the fact that it's Thanksgiving. How are you? Happy Thanksgiving. In tonight's broadcast, we continue with these federal stimulus checks. And let's recap. These are from Congress, from the President of the United States. They're federal. So do not ask, is it in my state? Your state has nothing to do with it. It's like asking if Mayor McCheese is sending out your stimulus check. <laughs> don't ask about that. And don't ask, are people with purple hair that wear green eyelashes getting stimulus? Because it's not part of the equation either. <laughs> In tonight's recording, we continue with these big stimulus checks. Let's jump over to the next round of checks. And these are from the Congress. These are checks E through K, and they're absolutely wonderful. And they are just a great collection of checks. Check E, $7,500 stimulus check. Then we go to check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Next up, check G, a wonderful, wonderful 30% uh, off. Check H, $2,000 stimulus check. Check I, $8,000. Check J, $8,000. And check K, $14,000. After that, I found you more checks, and that's what I continue to do for all my members. Keep on finding you checks. You're not going to see these anywhere else because it takes a lot of research to find these checks for me to deliver them for you. Is check out $100,000 on average of loan is free money. M, $4,000 a grant. Then we go over to stimulus N, brand new tablet, computer, a laptop. This is what Spelly got. It started all with John Maloof. John Maloof got the tablet, said he was watching me on the tablet. And then I recorded that, and I said to John, go get more money. He did. He got $24,000. And then Spelly heard it, and he got stimulus. He got the tablet. And then Lingland heard Spelly get it, and she got it as well. Stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs, and a brand new mortgage. And stimulus P, 3% down and 8% of closing costs. There you go. What is the summation and other details we know about these wonderful federal stimulus checks? Number one. Largest check, $100,000. Smallest check, $8,000. Fastest routing times, two days. Because Spelly, excuse me, not Spelly, John, uh, John started on, uh, Johnny started on Monday and by Wednesday he had 45000 By Friday he continued and had 15 applications in, half approved, half rejected, $80,000. He then helped mom get 50000 dad 50000 and his 20 neighbors quarter million dollars thereafter. What are the checks for? We got home appliances, home repairs, the auto, the car, the computer, the internet, a lot of great stuff, the rent, the mortgage, the utilities. It's just incredible. Those are your incredible federal stimulus checks from Congress and the President of the United States. Next, we turn over to inflation relief stimulus checks. They're beautiful, but they're icing on the cake, about $1,000. You go down in check D in the membership newsletter, it tells you which states, the amount, and how to track it. And then finally, lifetime stimulus. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. This is for you. This is for beneficiaries like SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits. What's at issue? No one is recording for you that you're going to get four benefits and that they're going to be cumulative, and that it's going to have you have more money than your standard of living. I'll explain to you why starting right now. Imagine you were on the first floor of the skyscraper last year. Well, now you're on the second floor because your benefits were raised 5.9% for this year. Next year, you'll be on the third floor because you're going to get another lift, 87 and it's a cumulative raise. It is not a replacement raise. You'll go to the third floor with an 8.7% raise on top of the 59 Then at year four, you're going to get another raise, and at year five, another raise, because Jay Powell says it's going to be two more years of inflation. At year five, you'll have the largest check of a generation, and once you go up, you never go down in the building of benefits. But it gets even better than that. By year four, the cost of the items you're buying will be the cheapest of a generation. Cheaper than COVID, cheaper than pre-COVID, cheaper than a generation. And suddenly you have the biggest check and the items you're buying will be the cheapest ever. It's incredible great news. And there you go. Lifetime stimulus, inflation relief stimulus, uh, federal stimulus. And later in this recording, I have new insight about these stimuluses you've never heard before. Stay with me. It's coming up in just a second. But let's go over to the other major news we're dealing with right now. First, we are in a recession. Most American analysts do not want to use the recession, but we are in a recession. Number two, we have inflation. The inflation is still not coming down. 
It became 8% in December last year, and at the time, I said it was going to be 8% and not go away for a long time. Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve said it would go away very quickly. They were wrong, and we're still at 8%, so they, we need to get it to 2%. That means we're going to have interest rate spikes from the Reserve, Federal Reserve for a while. How long? Jay Powell says into 2024. How big of a spike? Likely 50 basis point in that December meeting, not 75 anymore. And when is the next inflationary report? It comes December 1, called the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, PCE. Then we get the November CPI in about the second week of December, and the PPI as well. And then we have that Federal Reserve meeting. The housing market is likely to get worse in the new year. Why? Because mortgage rates will continue to go up as interest rates continue to go up. And as we approach that spring selling season, guess what? Sellers may not sell because they cannot afford a brand, they cannot afford a brand new home to move into because they're in a 3% mortgage now or 2% potentially. They don't want to switch out to a 7% mortgage. They can't afford it. Auto is likely to be the real big calamity of 2023 because millions and millions of Americans will not be going back to buy a brand new car on a car loan that is unaffordable because of Jay Powell with those raises of those rates. And remember that everyone that bought those cars in 2021 coming out of COVID, they are on an adjustable rate car loan. Those cars will get repoed when and if they cannot afford the car loan with the higher interest rates of 2023. Ouch. And finally, the retail concern. One of the subjects we discussed last night in our new hit show called L.A. Late Night that airs at about 8 p.m., it is an impromptu question and answer free form show at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time with me and you. We talked about job security and viewers and I agreed that millions of Americans are just a little bit too much of rose colored glasses with those jobs. They just believe their jobs are staying there and are not going away. I got to tell you, that's not what happens in a very volatile economy. In a very volatile economy where companies are debt laden, where companies are very dependent upon sales and the sales may not be there, and if they suddenly don't deliver, what do they do? They fire you. They lay you off. And Bob Iger came into Disney this Monday. Disney, the very famed and old school home of the House of the Mouse, approached its prior CEO after Bob Chapek had delivered the stock down 40% in one year. They reached out to Bob Iger and asked him would he rejoin, and he did. He didn't just rejoin as sort of a formality. Within 24 hours, major restructuring at Disney, slashing and moving, cutting costs and moving things around, massive changes to get the company more under profitability. This is what you're hearing with Target. This is what you're hearing with, with, with Bob Iger and Disney. And this is what Americans aren't particularly ready for. When Carvana just shocks you and says 10% of its workforce is gone, it's overnight. It's very sudden. And ultimately, if people do not presume their job may be lost, it's not a good situation if they're running up credit card debt they can't afford. Which brings me to two things tonight. First, we're going to go over cryptocurrency. And third, we're going to go back to stimulus. Cryptocurrency tonight signals that it may no longer be what it once was ever again of this generation. Why is it different tonight than everything else that I've ever recorded about cryptocurrency? For two reasons. The valuations have now gone away. And number two, the sentiments have dramatically changed. First, let me start with the sentiments. Cryptocurrency was perceived in 2021 and certainly 2022 as that great thing that's out there that not a lot of people know that your friend and your neighbor and your drinking buddy is buying and then suddenly he spent you know thousand dollars on it and it's worth four thousand or suddenly they spent eight thousand and worth thirty thousand wow that's great money let me get into it why did you do it how did you do it it was all perceived as upside everything's up everything's great everything is going to make me a lot of money and no one really took the time to learn what it was or how it was or perceive that maybe it could go down Tonight, the whole sentiment of cryptocurrency has changed. Why? Because of the collapse of a major exchange, FTX. Not just the collapse, but what we're learning about FTX. FTX tonight reports that its assets on hand are substantially less than the debts it owns. So people who bought into FTX tonight learn 
that there's not enough cash available for what they put into the company. Meaning, unlike a bank where you put your money in the bank and if there's a problem, the banks, the deposits are insured, not the situation with FTX, how bad of a situation is it. Tonight it owes, it, owes, it has debts of $3.1 billion. It only has cash on hand of one24 So 50% of the money is not covered for people with an investment in FTX. It gets worse. Of the money that was in FTX just days ago, 200, excuse me, 477 billion, which is basically half a billion, was stolen. Stolen by uh, hackers, as if they can't get even worse. What do the hackers do? They stole the investments and then they sold it on the black market, bringing down the price of those investments even worse. Wow, it just keeps on getting worse, doesn't it? Imagine if you had an investment of $10 in FTX. And now it doesn't exist. They only have coverage for like $4 of your $10. Then of the $4, then $2 of it's being stolen by a hacker that's sold on a, on, a, on a black market to make that $2 now worth $1, you're not a happy camper. And this is a totally different mindset for that person who put $10 into it than two years ago when you sat around that bar and everyone was celebrating, talking about how you bought Cardano and it went from $1 to $4. And you were told about the Doge millionaire. You are told all these great stories that everything goes up. Not everything goes up in life. And when things are not insured in case of deposit problems, then your money is gone. My opinion of the situation tonight, and again, this is analysis commentary, is that the implosion of the cryptocurrency market, the details of the enormous theft, the enormous default, the enormous non-liquidity of FTX is going to burn a lot of people very badly for an entire generation. This is no longer seen as a celebratory, let's let's dance, let's, let's have a drink to it, let's applaud the situation. This is now seen as, that's a little bit of Wild West, that's a little bit scary. I don't know if I want to put anything more than a few dollars into something that scary because it could get stolen, it may not be covered, and I don't have money to spend happy nilly like that. It's a totally different environment. And how long do consumer sentiments degrade? It usually takes an entire generation. Once you get burnt, you usually don't get burnt a second time. So it could potentially take another three, four, five years until you rebuild a whole pride, confidence, uh, a comfortable uh, notion of investing cryptocurrency among consumers. That consumer confidence is gone. That consumer confidence tonight is gone. Where is Bitcoin tonight? Bitcoin is now at the lowest level in two and a half years. And I was the first to report that Bitcoin would go to 12,000. I recorded that when Bitcoin about two weeks ago was 20,000. Tonight it's at 15, 16,000. I also reported that Ethereum would go to 800, $900. Where is that? Ethereum is about $1,100 at the moment right now. It was 1,500 when I reported that details. Here's a comment from asset manager Grayscale, a printed statement released on Friday, when asked whether it has enough reserves for consumers. It says, quote, due to security concerns, we do not make such on-chain wallet information and confirmation data publicly available through a cryptographic proof of reserve or, on the other hand, cryptographic accounting procedure. Moreover, tonight, the collapse of cryptocurrency means everything for stimulus. Why? Because it shows you there's two ways to do things in life, learn or not learn. A lot of people are just putting money into cryptocurrency with not really learning what that particular coin did. What did Cardano do? What did Solana do for business? What was it? Or did you just only know it goes up? Did you only know that it went up? You looked at a chart and that was the five minutes of work you did. When you look at stimulus tonight, massive amounts of stimulus, but it requires more than just looking at the mailbox. It requires more than just looking at the direct deposit account. But when you take the effort, when you listen to the recordings, when you become part of this incredible family and community, when you watch and learn to earn, you stay over the broadcast, you realize this is not a lot of work. This is not a lot of effort. I just need to listen. And now I understand it. And it's very straightforward. And guess what? I get a lot more money than the people never were listening in the first place. Yes. Same thing when you look at those retail numbers. If you heard that Best Buy beat today and you saw that Best Buy was up, what was it, 10% in pre-market trading, then you may say Best Buy is a great company to buy and let's buy some Best Buy because it was all best and it was buy, buy, buy today. No, the stock is down 30% a year today. 
Uh, and so if you don't know the entire story, you only know half a story, it's not particularly good. Same thing with those Federal Reserve governors. If you only listen to one federal governor, but you don't listen to all of them, you're getting half a story and maybe the wrong story. Which brings me back to stimulus. Tonight we look at the state of stimulus, and the state of stimulus is great. It really is wonderful. Who would have known back in 2021 that everything that Congress was talking about has happened? The only difference is lots more money. It's not six months. It's 18 months of checks. It's not thousand dollars a month. It's thousands of dollars of checks, per, thousands of dollars of money per month. And it's not $7,200 total. It's $70,000 for a lot of viewers. That is the state of stimulus. The only difference is you have to learn how to do it and pounce as a purple hawk. And that's how stimulus was on day one. When this channel recorded its very first video from the shores of Hermosa Beach, I pressed record to explain what an EI deal grant was, what an EI deal loan was, what unemployment stimulus is. Even tonight, I thought to myself, am I going to be recording brand new unemployment videos come 2023? I probably will because more people will be claiming unemployment once again and won't know how to do it. I need to explain how to do things. Weren't particularly complicated, but I need to explain how to do it. And those people got big sums of money. The EI deal grant was $5,000, $10,000. Some people got even more, $40,000, $20,000. The EI deal loan was $100,000, $150,000. The PPP, viewers walked away with lots of money, PUA and, 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 and unemployment, $15,000, $20,000. It was along the way when 2021 really corrupted people's minds wrongly because they got used to a $600 check doing nothing. It's $600. <laughs> it's $600. How long is $600 going to survive in this inflationary environment? About 11 seconds? Yeah, basically, that's it. And now tonight, the difference is the people who want to put a little bit of effort in, like the people who put the effort in 2021, 2020, are getting massive payouts. Now, here is my personal opinion of the situation tonight. When you announced there was a lockdown in 2020, when you announced that store closures were happening, when you announced that you couldn't go into your workforce, you had to go get money, stimulus. You understood the severity of the situation. You understood the, the significance of the event. And you understood you need to do this. That's why when I started recording, people had lots of questions and I had lots of answers for them. The severity, the back against the wall of 2022 has not happened yet. We all believe it's going to happen in early 2023. But ultimately, it may not happen in a very austere, severe event. What I've tried to impart to viewers since March, and I think we've done a really good job, is do not wait for your back against the wall. Do not wait for it to get so bad that the 11th hour, the landlord's knocking on the door for eviction, and you're running to this channel to find some stimulus. Don't wait for that. That's not how you do it. We all know the warning signals tonight. It's a smell test. And the warning signals tonight are very, very big. Number one, credit card levels through the roof, highest of a generation. Number two, the savings at the lowest of 10 years. People do not have savings saved up. Number three, people living paycheck to paycheck, 60% of Americans. And that paycheck is a big question mark, whether that paycheck will still be there. We're very, very concerned on tracking industries, but that may not be that strong going into 2023. We can only cover so many industries on this channel. We know that travel and leisure will be good, but we know that auto will be horrible. Housing, everything related to housing will be horrible, like the mortgage finance departments and banks. All that's going to be horrible. I did a report several months ago that one of the major banks only had 18,000 applications across the entire country. Imagine how many employees they have, probably, you know, 200, 300,000 for 18,000 applications. Yeah, they're going to lay them off. So when we start to see more data of more industries not doing well, mm -hmm, yeah, and it's going to hit very, very severely. Ultimately, what I have imparted to you is that you're doing a great job. It's not your mind's focus to focus on people who aren't here. But ultimately, we have to be prepared for when they do show up. If you just found this channel tonight, welcome. If you just find this channel tomorrow, welcome. If you're referring a friend or neighbor over this channel, welcome. And ultimately, the great news is that you are ahead of the ball game. Will you be ahead of the ball game if you find this channel in February? We don't know. We don't know. You are ahead of the ball game tonight. 
So go into this video, become a member, apply for all these incredible checks, and continue to pounce across the board. Earlier today on Afternoons L8, I addressed a word that sometimes inspires anger in people. But I think the word is very truthful, and it's a lot of tough love. The word is lazy. Lazy is a really bad thing when it comes to anything with money. And tonight we learn a lot about where laziness got people in trouble this week. First, laziness got people in trouble in cryptocurrency that believed that there was a, a resistance level 20,000 for Bitcoin. That's sort of ridiculous. I mean, look at the historics of it. We knew that Bitcoin could fall into 20,000. It did. It's now 15,000. That's, you know, we're losing valuations very quickly in that in that coin. Number two, we knew that the corporate earnings for third quarter of some of these retailers would be good, but laziness would be for someone to look at the numbers and say, oh, retail's on fire. Retail's doing great. All the retailers beat. No, they beat on downward guided numbers, and their numbers based upon year to date are down. So understand the context of the reporting. Number three, lazy is hearing one Fed governor like um, like a Mary Daly out of San Francisco who says something as though inflation's coming down, the rent is coming down, and you only listen to one Fed governor and you say, I'm not going to listen to any Fed governor. I heard Mary Daly. I'm, I'm done. I'm good. You spend 10 seconds reading two quotes from one governor. Well, guess what? She's wrong. <laughs> She's wrong. And suddenly you got wrong data because you didn't take the time to listen. And then finally, lazy with Stimulus. Stimulus that involves picking up the finger, picking up the pen, typing something, pushing enter, typing in your name, that's checks of tens of thousands of dollars. Stimulus that involves standing by a mailbox, standing by a direct deposit, that's potentially just a few hundred dollars. Tens of thousands of dollars is a big difference than a few hundred dollars. Hundreds of thousands of dollars is a big difference than a few hundred dollars. And that is the difference that the Purple Power has made. Back in March, you were brilliant. Back in March, what did you do? You said, you know what? You're reporting since February of 2022 that the U.S. economy is going to recession. If we are to presume you're right, Ally Light, can you help us find us some new stimulus? And I did. And that's why I found you check A, B, and C, because you asked me to back in March. And I found it, and you immediately started getting in March. In fact, in the case of um, um, uh, uh, Jessica um, uh, uh, Romano, um, she actually says that she started this process back in March. What's important to understand is that there's always going to be that person who waits the last second. You're not that person. You found this channel tonight. And all you have to do is just follow through. Go under this video, become a member. Go under this video, subscribe. Go under this video, hit that bell notification on. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment under the video. Keep everything positive and keep everything motivated. Finally, my last commentary tonight. And it's an interesting commentary. <laughs> tonight, I've put in changes to the channel so that people will no longer be able to post the negative statements. So if you're one of those people that is not a member, just sort of a passer through that likes to post the negative statements, you'll no longer be able to. It will actually restrict you from doing it. You know those people. Those people say, there's no money in Mars. There's no money in Pluto. Uh, uh, um, the, the, the galaxy of Milky Way doesn't really care about you. <laughs> well, I'm not here for the Milky Way galaxy. I'm here for... <laughs> Well, yeah, I, you know, I'm sort of in the Milky Way galaxy, but I'm not here for the Milky Way galaxy stimulus. I am here for the United States of America on planet Earth stimulus. And so if you want to talk about the no's and the notes and the can't and the won'ts and the will nots and the won'ts from aliens in another galaxy, good. It won't be allowed anymore on the channel. It actually won't even post. So there you go. Um, it, you know, it's 2022. It's time to get with the action. It's time to get the news. If you have not caught up, it's time to get caught up. And it's time to stop thinking about your city. It's time, time to stop thinking about your governor, your state. It's time to start listening through and learning to earn. For you that have done it, congratulations. For people who don't want to learn, you know how the sentence ends. <laughs> For the shores of Santa Monica, California, it is a great night. And congratulations to Spelly. Congratulations to Mr. Romano. 
uh, Dragon, who got $170,000. Johnny, whose friends and neighbors are sitting on a quarter million dollars. Of course, Johnny himself got 8000 Mark at 166000 Lorraine, 155000 Spelly, um, this, and Lynn Glenn. The success stories keep on coming in by the minute. Just go under the video, hit that bell, alerts on, hit the subscribe on all three channels, tell your friends and family to come over, like all the videos, comment under the videos, the comments are held until I approve them, they will get approved, and also become part of this incredible family. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, have a beautiful night. I will be with you all Thanksgiving week and all weekend long. The newsletter will be delivered every night this week, even though it is Thanksgiving. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful night. If you're wondering, yes, the flowers are all real. <laughs> stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful evening and make sure you follow through. Learn to earn and stay with Ally for more.